Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at five must-have programs for Windows 11. You can also use these on Windows 10 as well, but we're taking a look on Windows 11 today. So the first app we're going to be taking a look at is called Ear Trumpet. Now, Ear Trumpet is one of the best apps you can use for Windows 11 because it gives you full control of the volume for each of those apps. So volume for individual apps. So for instance, this could be your headphones. This could be a game that you're playing. It could be your Spotify or any other type of app that you have running. And it will separate each individual app with its own volume bar. So it means you can slide your volume bar up and down for each individual app. So this is very useful. So once you've got it installed, check down on the bottom right hand side and you'll see a second speaker icon drag this onto your taskbar and it will be called ear trumpet this one and when you click on it you can see there's only two things on here at the moment but they have been separated unlike the windows 11 one where you have to click on this and they're all buried inside of the menu system so this is a very useful way of separating your audio volume next up is rise media player it's a modern media player which is built using the WinUI framework and this offers many different features that you don't find on Windows 11 media player. So let's take a look at some of the features here when we get it installed on the system. Now unfortunately you're going to have to go through a bunch of hoops to get it installed because of the certificate issue here but it's okay it's not too bad and I'll show you quickly how to do it if you want to have this installed on the system. So you need to right click and go to properties once you've downloaded the application and then you can go onto the tab here which says uh, digital signatures. On here you can see there's not one available so we're going to need to add one. So go to details, this will open up the digital signature details and from here we can view the certificate. Once we're inside here viewing our certificate we can install the certificate by clicking on the install certificate button. This will then open up a certificate import wizard and this is where we can use it for the local machine. Click on the radio button for local machine and click next. Say yes to the user account control and now we can place all our certificates in the following store. So put the radio button in there, click browse and we're going to go down until we find uh, trusted uh, people. So let's go down here and we're going to quickly look for trusted people. You should see it here. There we go. Highlight that. Click OK. And this will add this in. Click Next. And then click Finish. And you should now be able to open up and install the uh, Rise Media Player. So that's now done. Click OK here. And we can now click on this and it should install properly. There we go. So all we've got to do now is click on Install. And this will go off and install this on the system. So why go for all this trouble for Rise Media Player? Well, like I said, it's got some features that the Windows Media Player doesn't have. The app also supports Last.fm integration, and it also fetches artists' images from the internet for your local files, making your library look really cool and modern. So it's a pretty decent bit of kit. So let's go ahead and get this finished off and installed. So let's go ahead and click on Continue. And then we can continue again. So there's five steps to go through here. You can make it yours by changing all of your uh, dark mode here and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and click continue and I'll show you how to set this up and uh, get it finished off. So you can see we've got just the standard clear white sort of backdrop here, but you can change this to dark mode if you wanted to, if you prefer the dark mode theme to tie in with the theme on your Windows system. So go down. To the bottom left and click on settings here once you're inside here all you need to do is go over to where it says choose your color choose your color you can see used uh, system settings or you can put it onto dark and this will change it to dark mode and you can change it to light as well so whatever you want to do so quickly restart now and it will open back up from here what you want to do is click navigation and then go over to the icon style and change this to colorful and then what this is going to do is change the icon style to a nice colorful style. So I'm going to hit the uh, back button here and just hit the back button. And you can now see all of the color icons have been changed. 
So let's go ahead and uh, take a look what else this actually does here. So what we can do is go back to your songs and then you can see here, you've got all your songs listed here. You can add other stuff in here. You've got your artists, your albums, and you've also got some other ones here like uh, genre. And then we have all videos here as well. Now, if you click on the all videos, it will allow you to go to a uh, stream from a URL here, as you can see. So you can stream from a URL by putting that in here and push play. So quite a nice little feature there. So let's move on to the next program, which is called ShareX. Now, ShareX is another free program you can use. It's a screen capture, file sharing, and also productivity tool. So it's quite a useful tool to have on a Windows-based system. It's going to allow you to capture your screen, take snapshots. It's also going to allow you to make animated GIFs and all sorts of stuff like that with this particular program. So let's go ahead and get it installed on here. And we'll take a quick look at it and what it actually does. Click next and click install. And what we're going to do here is launch ShareX. Just open up the uh, window here. And you can see here we've got a bunch of settings we can do and shortcuts. So we've got capture. When you click on here, it gives you all of the capture options available. And we also have screen recording as well built in here. And we have upload. This is the upload section. And we also have workflows. Inside here, this gives you all your workflows, your tools, color picker, ruler, and a bunch of other stuff like image editor, image viewer, video converter. It's got quite a few useful tools in here. DNS changer, monitor test, and a clipboard viewer. Moving on down. There's a bunch of other stuff in here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the after capture tasks, after upload tasks and destinations and application settings here. So you can set it up how you like. And let's just see this in action so you get an idea of what it can actually do. So let's go ahead and see what this can actually do. So I'm going to take a quick snapshot of the system so you can go capture full screen. And you can see it will literally set a capture of the full screen. And there it is right down the bottom. You can click on this and it will open it up and it will show you a screenshot just like so. You can actually record the screen as well. Just show you another quick one to make an animated GIF here. So I'm going to quickly click on capture here. And there's a bunch of other stuff you can do. So I'm going to record the screen. And we can say yes here and it will start to record the screen. Now we can capture whatever we want here. So I'm going to hover this over this little box here. And what we're going to do is it's now started to capture. So if I open some things up here, like so, and then we can click stop. You should see a recording of it appear down the bottom right hand corner. And it should be what we've just done. We've just recorded a animated GIF here and it's recorded it very small. And you can quickly upload this if you're giving tech support or or something like that and you want someone to see what you're actually saying. So very quick and easy to do. So next up, we're going to be doing Quick Look. So we'll get this installed. Now, Quick Look is a pretty useful little app. It's free. And I'll quickly get this installed and show you what it actually does. Now, the way this works is when you click on the icon here and push your space bar, it's going to open up and give you a preview of the images and also PDF files, documents, and also video as well. And it can do this for a ton of different file types. So when you hover over them and press your space bar, it's going to play these items. So very useful indeed for quick previews of all of your file types. Next up, finally, we're going to take a look at uh, Power Toys. Now, Power Toys has been around for a long time, but this is a very powerful array of software which allows you to use Windows in a much more productive way. So let's get it installed and take a look at it because it's got more than one application inside here. So I'm going to get this installed and open it up. It's a quick download and a quick install here. And once we've done this, it's going to give us things like fences, always on top, and a bunch of other little applications in here like bulk renamer. Now, 
The program has a load of other programs inside of it. So always on top is very useful. This will allow you to say, for instance, have task manager always on top. Even if you're playing a game and you push control delete and you want to bring up your task manager, if your PC is starting to struggle or freeze, it will always be on top and you'll be able to shut down that process. So that is the always on top uh, program. So in an instance like this here, which I'm going to show you, you can see the task manager is on top. And no matter what I open up here, the task manager will always be on top. So I'm going to open up Explorer and it opens up behind it. So it keeps it on top all the time. So if you need to kill a process off, it's very, very useful. There's other useful programs like File Explorer add-ons, Fancy Zones, Color Picker, Mouse Utilities, uh, Bulk Renamer, loads and loads and loads of toys in there to play around with. Anyway, that is the five must-have programs for Windows 11. You can use these on Windows 10 as well if you're still using Windows 10. Not a problem at all. And they are free to use and download. I'll try and leave the links in the video description for you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Special shout out goes to RTX Brody, Phil's Computer Repair, Ron Hicks, Casso Time, Big Daddy, Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, PC Repair Tech, Albert Hewson, also Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, and Welsh Tony One. Thanks again, guys, for your support. I really do appreciate it, and I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you.